Hi, and uh, welcome to the sixth video in the subject of indices, in which we're going to be uh, using more, more or less all we've learnt so far in the previous five videos to solve exponential equations. Now, what's an exponential equation? Well, there's one. Uh, it's an equation with exponents in it, or indices in it. 2 to the x is 2 to the 3. That one's quite easy to solve. I hope it's fairly obvious that x must be 3, so that we've got the same thing on both sides. But that's a fairly straightforward one. We've got the same base number, so we just look at the indices and we know that they're equal to each other. And that's a general rule. If you've got the same base number uh, on both sides of an equation, then you just look at the indices and you put them equal to each other. Let's uh, put that rule at the top of the page and look at an example. Now, this is one where the base number is not the same on both sides. However, we can easily uh, arrange it so that we do get the same base number on both sides. You should spot that uh, 8 is 2 cubed and 4 is 2 squared. So first of all, write it down like that. Then they use the rule for multiplying powers of powers. 2 times 2 to the power of 3 times 2x, 2 to the power of 2 times x minus 1. Now, those two must be equal to each other. On the left it's 6x, and on the right it's 2x minus 2. So we've simplified it because we had the same base number on both sides. Now we solve it quite easily. 4x is minus 2, x is minus a half. Uh, let's just check that. It's always a good idea to check if you can. First of all, the left-hand side of the equation, 8 to the power of 2x, if, if x is minus a half, then that becomes that expression, which becomes 8 to the minus 1, which is 1 eighth. What about the right-hand side? Not quite so straightforward. 4 to the power of minus a half minus 1, 4 to the min power of minus 3 halves, which is 4 to the minus a half to the power of 3. 1 over root 4, that's what minus a half means, to the power of 3, a half to the power of 3, an eighth. Yes, we've got the same thing on both sides, so we've checked that that equation has been correctly solved. Now another one. Once again, we're aiming to get the same base number on both sides. So we're going to have to arrange 4, 8 and 16, so they've got, all got a base number of 2. Uh, well, 8 is 2 cubed, we saw earlier. 4 is 2 squared. 16 is 2 to the 4th. And 2 is just 2. Now, do you remember the rule about dividing? Uh, when you've got the same base number and you're dividing, then you do a subtracting operation. So the left-hand side is 2 to the power of 3x minus the 2 there. And this is 2 to the power of 4x minus this expression there. So we've got this. Now we've got the same base number on both sides, so we just put the two sides equal. The right-hand side, this expression becomes 2x plus 1. And that quite quickly rearranges to x equals 3. Once again, let's do a check. First of all, the left-hand side, 8 cubed divided by 4 is 512 divided by 4, which is 128. Right-hand side, 16 cubed divided by 2 to the power of 5. That's substituting 3 for x. 4096 divided by 32, which is also 128. So we have uh, solved that equation correctly as well. Now, slightly more tricky, because here we've got two variables, x and y, but we've got two equations. And these are simultaneous equations, uh, and that's the way we're going to end up solving them, by solving a simultaneous equation, or a series of equations, a system of equations. Right, let's do the left-hand side part first. 5 squared is 25. We can arrange everything so that it's got a base number of 5. We've got 2x plus 2, y minus 2, and 5. Now, rearranging now, we just, we've just we got the same base, power, base number on both sides, and so we can just put the indices equal to each other. And we've got the first of our two simultaneous equations, 2x plus y is 5. Let's rearrange the second uh, to uh, get a second exponential equation. Well, 7x divided by 7 uh, 7 to the y is 7 to the power of x minus y, and 
we've got the base number straight away there, so x minus y equals 1. That's a second equation. Let's write down our two equations again. Solve them simultaneously by adding, because adding will eliminate the y's from the two equations, and we get 3x equals 6, x equals 2, and it's no great difficulty to show that x, that y equals 1, and so we've got our solution to that equation. It's a simultaneous equation, so we've got two solutions, uh, but it is a, they're simultaneous exponential equations, so we're using the rules of indices to reduce them to a more familiar simultaneous equation or system of equations, which we then solve.